funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. <sighs> what can you tell me about her family? Something oh my quite gosh. Right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. He's gay. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? Ooh. A man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. I can break now, up this partnership. If you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. That was overall a very pleasant conversation. I got something I needed. Sarah got something she needed. It's a win 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 scenario. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you, you're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Ooh. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Ooh. Partnership Andros severed. Andros wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring cell swords. What? Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against what? Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. Oh my gosh, and I just freaking attacked no the knows. Dang it! Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a hand, <laughs> Nice.
nice. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay. <sighs> Something bad is gonna happen with these guys. I just know it. You sure you know where you're going? Feel it in my bones. Cotter. <sighs> Something's gonna That's be bad at the North mind. Grove. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? That we should keep moving. Better if we're moving in the right direction, though. Doesn't matter if we all starve before we even get there. We're on the right track. This way. The heck? Colors. The free folk. Oh, this. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of. Take off your black clothes, Wait, then, what? dude. He's a fucking wildling, Cotter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out. All right. She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. No, I'm uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhorn. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm oh, oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. He'll be all right, won't he? Ah, ah, oh, stop! He told us not to come Please. out. You don't damn. like it. Damn! 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 How's that feel? I think you can do better than that. Damn. They're gonna kill him. Damn. They're gonna kill me. So bad at quick time events. Get away. 
Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting yet! It's over! Could you don't do it! Shit! Are those the last of our supplies? Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Or at least take some weapons or something. Look, there's a bow and arrow. A whole thing, a quiver of arrows. Gosh. Idiots. They would never survive in Skyrim. I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I just knew it wasn't right. I wasn't the Lord I wanted to be. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred, and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Kill the raven. Kill the raven that brought it. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. Nope. He wants to make peace. No, he is doesn't. Is with that naive? Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roger oh, to gosh. travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord. They're not going to do that. To be honest, I don't think that they're, they're, they're ever going to do that because they think that he's weak. Why would they suddenly attack when he's gone? They're barely trained, Royland. We'll need the Glenmores at high point. They'll accompany us. Yes, my lord. Let Arthur Glenmore know at once. I'll start making the preparations. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. It's Roderick who must decide. Who would you rather have by your side? Uh, Duncan comes with us. Ryland can stay here and I just I him. didn't even very well. I don't know. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point. But I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please. I'll do anything you ask of me. Even something dangerous. I don't care. What? You think I'm too young to help? Damn it, I wasn't paying attention again. Anymore. You were every bit as stubborn when you were her age. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. 